Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how to make a good first impression. So this is gonna be on teachers specifically in my video, but I'm talking about any first impression. You can use this for anything. If you haven't seen my other back to school episodes, this is the third one. I will link it in the eye and watch this video and then you can go back and watch that one. So let's just start off by saying what is a first impression? So if you Google a first impression, it says the event when uh, one person first encounters another person and forms a mental image of that person person I don't know why I said that impression accuracy varies depending on the observer and targets so like meaning person object scene things like that so this is my example when you walk into my room the first thing you see is my bed because it's just like the largest part and if it's super disorganized you're just making like a bad first impression of your room my bed usually doesn't look like that it usually looks like this but still first impressions are first impressions are super super important and it literally like google says it's literally the first image someone makes of you and the image that's going to stay in their mind when they first meet you so make sure your first impressions are super super you know need to organize have good manners all that but we will be talking about that all in this video So let's talk about good outfit first impressions. So when someone looks at you, the first thing they see is your outfit. So you wanna look put together, ready for school, but you wanna be yourself. So, you know, you wanna match, cause you know, unmatching is just kinda like not the vibe I'm going for. But science shows that the colors that people remember the most mentally is purple, yellow, and red. So if I was you, I'd try to use those in like the first month, first week of school so people mentally remember you, especially on the first day. Because if you have a bright color, people are going to be like, oh, remember this person was wearing this shirt, this thing. They're just going to mentally remember you by your outfit. So I feel like that's something that you should keep in mind. So other than our outfit, let's talk about first day, first impressions. So obviously your outfit is one of the main things that grabs someone's eye but so does like good manners saying good morning good afternoon first day is super super important because it is your first impression it's the one thing that people remember about you the most what you do on the first day so i'd be like confident be yourself make sure you have good manners all of this stuff follow the rules on the first day okay and if i was you i'd also introduce myself be like hey i'm blah 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 uh, I'm super excited for this year, things like that. Obviously, if you're confident, it just makes like a super good impression. Another thing that makes a good impression is if you sit in the front of the class, it kind of shows the teacher that you are super invested in your education and that, you know, you want to have a good year, if that makes any sense. So do that. Uh, I know that my teachers always say, one thing when they meet like my parents or whatever they're like oh she's always smiling so smile there she's always saying good morning good afternoon teachers notice literally everything so if i was you i'd try to incorporate some of that stuff so that when they actually meet your because they meet you before they meet your parents so try to incorporate those things like good morning good afternoon if you have a conversation with the teacher try to have like a short conversation about how their day is going if how they want the school year to go things like that being a teacher's pet is better than not than being a class clown trust me they will appreciate it more and i starred a couple of these things because they're like the super most important things that i feel are super important so like good manners i'm starring that because you need to have good manners thank you you're welcome things like that um sitting in front of the class because again i already mentioned it it just shows you're invested in your education so do all these things on the first day of school and i trust me your teacher will, will thank me later and honestly teachers notice all of that teachers notice everything and they want to have students that have good manners i'm just saying so you rather make a good first impression than not and these things are just going to help you know yeah
have talked about good outfit choices and good first day impressions let's just talk about extra things that you should do to make a good first impression so for school i'm obviously talking about school but you can use this for everything basically for school um one major thing is smiling i don't know why it does that like smiling is such an important thing but when my parents go to school and they meet like the assistant principal i remember the assistant principal came up to my parents and were like your daughter is always smiling i don't know how she's at home but like your daughter is always smiling at school and she shows that she's like present so smiling is a good thing and my teachers always say that too um another thing another extra thing you could do is just eye contact when you're speaking to someone it just shows that you're respectful and that you aren't super shy and that you know you're invested in what you're interested in what they have to say basically um next thing is just to be awake in your classes this shows that you're invested in your classes even if you have low grades just being awake because people don't want people to be sleeping in their classes and it just kind of helps the teacher know that you know they can depend on you to actually intake the information that they're teaching you next a super super important one is to be on time uh being on time just shows that you care about their time and that you know you're actually ready for class and things like that you know being late is just super disrespectful just in general so be on time please por favor just be on time next up is to be positive obviously you also want to be yourself and be positive but no one wants to talk to a Debbie Downer. Let's just be honest. So if you have, if you are super positive and you're yourself, teachers are gonna love that. And it's better to be a teacher's pet than a class clown. Trust me, teachers want someone that they can depend on and know that is gonna be there for the rest of the year. The, they can tell by the first impression. Okay. Handshake. I don't know why, but in Avid, we learn how to take a, have a good handshake. And I guess if you have a good handshake, people are going to remember your handshake. You don't want it to be super tight, super loose. Just kind of a good handshake, kind of like a little bit stern, so that they remember you and know that, you know, you're ready to take on the day. Speak clearly, because this just shows that you're confident in yourself and that you aren't like stuttering around and things like that i know confidence is super hard to do but trust me it makes a big difference when you're speaking clearly and just being there for everything so that is it for today's video i did write one extra thing which is to start a short conversation so if you know a lot about the teacher i would say to start a conversation about what they are interested in so that you guys so they know that you know you're not just in for it in, in school for yourself but to help others too so that is it for today's video i hope this was super informational i love you guys so so much stay tuned for the rest of the back to school series because i'm like, super excited for the rest of the, the videos i love you guys stay tuned for next sunday's video because i promise you guys it would be an amazing one bye guys